107.5 WGCI, the size number one for hip-hop and R&B. You know what it is, man. It's the morning show with the Destin legend, Leon Rogers, the beautiful Kendra G. Yeah. Myself, the shortest damn man in Chicago, Kyle. And we welcome back one of our favorite guests to come by and kick it with us, man. Mr. Aerie Spears. Is What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Aerie Spears right now, but with all the impersonations you do, you can be anybody at any time. Uh, yeah, I'm whatever the job calls for. So. <laughs> can, I, can I yell out a name? Do you do, you do that? Does that, uh, does that aggravate well, you? Let me, let me see. what. It, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, Jay-Z. Hove in the building right now. <laughs> uh, Bill Cosby. You know, in the pudding, actually, I'm in cell C-17. <laughs> I'm in cell C-17. <laughs> and I'm working on the special brew of drink. Uh, I think you do Barack Obama. I'm not sure. Uh, not really. Uh, I know it's Cadence, but I don't really have the voice. <laughs> but I know I know a lot of times, you know, uh, LL still doing his thing. It's bananas, man. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Now I mean, it's bananas, man. I'm sitting next to the chocolate beauty over here. You know, put a little bit more sunlight on it, get it melting in my hands. <laughs> I need to see that chocolate down my wrist, man. Yo, oh. And what is it you realize you could do uh, impersonations? Uh, when I realized my mother and father would play Louis Armstrong whenever they was having sex. What? Uh, Hilarious. Yeah, my what? mother, my Loud mother's a trumpet music. My, my mother's a jazz singer, so when I heard potato, potato, you say tomato, I know pops was getting it. <laughs> <in. laughs> Oh my goodness! She was You're blowing his horn. You're not supposed to know that as a kid. You're she not supposed to know that. I, I, I didn't, but you know, as time went on, and I started to piece it together like Matlock, and yeah. it was like, okay, I, I see what it is now. <laughs> Speaking of which, Mother's Day is what Sunday. Yes, right? Sunday, yes, it is. Big yes. shout out to all the men out there thinking outside the box for your moms. Go and cop that lingerie crotchless piece. Yeah, and hook your moms up, no. baby. You can't buy your mother. I'm, get, I'm giving my mom edible underwear, baby. No. She's in her sixties. You know what I mean? Get it in, mom, before you go. I can't. I want to see moms happy. Chicago what? Aries is here because you're at the Improv. Yes. Maybe they'll come to your show for Mother's Day, right? Uh, absolutely. Bring your moms. It's gonna be bananas. I know both shows Saturday is almost sold out. So uh, we trying to push for Friday uh, tonight, Thursday, and Sunday. Okay. So look, yeah. man. Um. Let's get into the legacy of Aerie Spears, bro. Oh, if there you ever see? really is one. Yeah, it is one, man. I mean, as far as me being a comic, like, watching Def Jam and seeing you hit on that, was you, like, a sophomore, junior in high school? Uh, like, yeah, the youngest person yeah, ever do yeah, Def yeah, Jam, right? Yeah, 16 years old. So, How did yeah. you handle, handle all that early in your career? Well, I, there really wasn't much to handle. I mean, you know, the biggest thing was the fact that, you know, we all gathered around at somebody's house, one of my white friends' house, and all the school kids came and supported it because it was, like, such a big deal. Uh, but like Hove say, you know, when you first come in the game, they try to play you. Drop a couple of hits, look how they wave to you. Yeah. Nobody liked me in school. But when you're making your debut on HBO's Def Comedy Jam with Martin and Kid Capri, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. people act different. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, other than that, uh, wasn't no real big drastic change. Okay. Yeah. I love your longevity because, you know, it's. I think what the, the comedian world is not always easy to last very long in right. it, but you've been working consistently for a very long time. So what is your secret to your longevity in this field? Um, you know, I don't want to sound cliche, but I think at the end of the day, it's the, uh, it's, it's the secret sauce. You know, it's the substance. Um, so many dudes is out here looking for this 15 minutes of fame. And, you know, when Vine was alive and, you know, trying to put together something quick to blow up for the moment. But I think what sustains you is, you know, I'm like, uh, what's my, what's the, Blue Magic, you know, mm. uh, b- pure, uncut, Blue Magic. Oh, Dizzo, he doing Dizzo, you got a Dizzo for me? <laughs> All right, like Pepsi, that's a brand name. All right, we know what we talking about. Huh? Oh. I, I, I just think if the product, oh my gosh. if the product is proper, uh, people respect it. And, and, and plus, don't oversaturate yourself. You know, everybody's trying to, with the Instagram, I get it, Facebook, Instagram, social media, you're trying to always keep yourself out there, but mystery is important, man. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. if you, and if you're not always out there to be seen, people want to see you. Leave right. them one more. Well, D- Dave Chappelle, right. he said he liked Bigfoot, man. You know, a Dave Chappelle sighting is, is phenomenal because he ain't everywhere. Right. So I, I like a little bit of mystery. What kind of things do you touch on in your set? Like when people come to see you at the Improv this weekend, every comedian has certain things that they love to do, subject matter that they touch. Mm-hmm. Like what's your style on stage? Uh, you Other know, than the impersonations, obviously. You know, because we live in such a moist era of comedy right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. A moist? What does you that mean? Say yeah, nothing. What is that? Say oh. nothing. Well, say well, nothing. Uh, uh, politically correct. Um... I come from that Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, George Carlin era. So I'm like, I tell people I'm real Floridian with my stand-up and my position. I stand my ground. I ain't budging. Floridian? Floridian. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. ground. I ain't moving. I stay true to who I am. 
No doubt. Listen, man, Aerie Spears is in Chicago all weekend long, starting tonight through Sunday at the Improv in Schaumburg. How can people get tickets to your show? Easy. Go to the, uh, the website, improv.com, Schaumburg. Uh, uh, one show tonight, two Friday, two Saturday, one Sunday. And also check out the podcast, Spears and Steinberg, a.k.a. The Jew and the Jerk, available through Spotify, <laughs> Google Play. Are you the Jew or the Jerk? I could be both now. <laughs> you know, black people, we exist. Sammy yeah. Davis was in the building. Right. Spearsburg. Dot com or uh, iTunes slash Apple for that. How about yes. your Instagram and all that? Instagram, everything is my name. Aerie Spears, Pandora, Aerie Spears, uh, YouTube, Aerie Spears. And just, you know, look it up and show your boy some love, man. Absolutely. Always there a pleasure having you come back yes. and visit us, bro. Thank you, brother. I appreciate y'all. Y'all family, man. <laughs> y'all get out there. Check out Aerie Spears at the Improv all weekend. It's WGCI.